So I'm using Visual Studio Code. I installed Qt into user local so it can be discovered by Visual Studio Code and then can be used for code comprehension and completion. So let's import the Qt module and let's import also Qt Utils. This is how Qt is organized for now. It's a bit untidy, but in, in future it will change. So firstly, let's create a, a Qt window and make it nice and big. As you can see, I'm using Qt on a Mac that has a retina display. So I will choose a, a nice big number. If you're using a lower quality monitor, then you will need number about half of this size. Now let's read in the model and the map. We will capture the molecule index of the model in the PDB as HIMOL. This is a very conventional um, input script. I'm going to give it the full path where my PDB file is. Likewise, we capture the index of the map molecule using the whole path. And the zero at the end here tells Kut that this is not a difference map. Kut's default map radius is not quite big enough for this molecule, so we are going to increase it. And we do that by using the function map radius em. 99 angstrom will be more than enough to do the job. We also want a multicolored map, so where each color represented the density from a single chain. To do that, we will create a set of map that get uh, masked by the chains of the model. We are creating a function to do that. In the general case, there, are, there may be many model molecules that have been read into boot. We need to find which one. And to do this, uh, we use the active residue uh, PI, which returns the specification of an atom that is closest to the center of the screen. This is the general case of selective deactive molecule. The function to do the masking is make masked map split by chain and we give it the index of the model and the map. The function could refinement map will return IMOL map in this case. Let's evaluate that function then. By default, CUT will represent the new surface as a traditional chicken wire mesh. We don't want that, we want to make our maps as a surface. And to do this, we can use the solidify uh, maps function that will solidify all the maps for all the chains. So now let's undisplay the original unmasked map by giving the set map displayed function and an argument of zero. And let's undisplay also the model. Now let's use the map center that we saved recently in part 1 to set the center.
The view rotation is specified by a quaternion. We will also specify the zoom from the view file. The clipping plans affect the colors. In our case, we want the, fr the uh, front clipping plane to be close to the front of the molecule. So let's uh, pull it in a bit like this. I have previously saved the map colors and I'm just passing them in here. Now let's define parameters for the shaders. So we set the brightness and the gamma values. And also the depth blur focus depth which is close to the front. A focus blur of one is quite mild. We could have made it bigger for a more uh, dramatic effect. Now let's draw the graphic. All right, so now let's review our code. We imported the necessary code modules and we loaded uh, the model and the map. We changed the radius of the map to be bigger and uh, we split up the map into several new maps, each one corresponding to a particular chain. We make all the map solid instead of a mesh and we undisplayed the original map and molecule. We also specified the view with the center, the view, rotation, quaternion and the zoom level. Each map got the hand-picked color. Then we tweaked the shaders by changing the brightness, the gamma and the focus. Let's save that from the terminal. Let's invoke cut with the minus minus script argument and give it the file name of our script. It will take a few seconds to evaluate the script and then it's going to make the 10 masked maps. After the script is run, we can have our image as, as we made it before. We can also, instead of using the command line, we can run the script directly from the cut window. So using calculate run script and have the same result. I also uh, write a script for having different background color to be used in cut. So calculate run script background colors that give us a new menu background with uh, with different colors to be used 
as a background for example red blue white dark gray aqua yellow so you can explore different background color So both script, the one I used to make the figure and the other one to have background color, are both available on the Good Development blog. So if you use them or if you use my tutorial to make a figure, please comment my tweet. It would be nice to see your figure, your result. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching it and see you in the next exciting episode.